What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and we have some sixth anniversary news. Now, this is all for JP right now. As of the moment, it actually doesn't look like this came to global. Uh, they did snake us pretty hard on that, but there's still hope. We have some apparently crossover missions and all that stuff coming. Uh, we'll talk about that in an upcoming video, but it doesn't look like we're getting the full anniversary yet. Uh, most likely, we're going to get uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He is a Dokkan Fest LR. He's super hype, uh, but that is currently the speculation of what people are telling us. Could, and they could change that too. Who knows? But for now, let's talk about the JP anniversary because this is crazy hype. Absolutely insanely hype. Of course, we already know it is going to be UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Royal Blue, whatever the hell you want to call him. Let's go ahead and hop over to this. I'm not going to play the full live stream just because they do like to copyright these things. So we're going to kind of cheese it a little bit over here. But these units look sick. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit for you because these units look absolutely phenomenal. Let's see here. Um, let's see if we can blow this up. There we go. There we go. Check that out. That is stupid. Stupid hype. Vegeta looks absolutely awesome. Goku looks pretty sweet, too. A lot of people are upset about the arms. The arms do look weird for Goku. But, I mean, imagine these animated backgrounds. These are what we expect in 2021 out of a game like Dokkan that's been around now six freaking years years so these are hype unfortunately we don't have a lot of the details on these cards yet which is truly unfortunate but we'll be bringing you that information as soon as we have it these will be dropping in the game uh, i believe in a matter of three to four days they're gonna be coming really quickly um if we were and, and the reason i say we're probably not going to get a global crossover at this point is because if we were going to get that we'd have the countdown and all that stuff now there is still the possibility but i think it's extremely 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 slim so some of the other really cool stuff that I think is really phenomenal in here. Uh, if you haven't seen the tickets, the tickets for this event look sick. These are fun. I mean, they've really pulled out all the stops. I think it's really they owe it to Dokkan. Um, just because the last... I mean, uh, COVID was not good to Dokkan. Let's be real. We had some dry spells. We had some really lame events. Uh, the Worldwide Celebration was pretty lame. Uh, the anniversary was hype, but... The worldwide celebration was pretty lame. Every kind of Dokkan Fest has been kind of lame. And then when they re-ran a bunch of those LR banners, it was like, eh, come on, guys. Come on. Um, that said, Global's really close to catching up. But I think it's confirmed right now that we're not going to be on par with JP anytime soon. So don't get your hopes up for that. But that said, let's talk about a little bit more of the stuff here. Uh, they did confirm, uh, let's see... Looks like there's going to be some stuff here regarding all of them. Uh, where were there's the ticket? Um, there was some more hype stuff in here. Looks like there's going to be something going on with the tournament of power. Obviously, um, maybe we'll get some more of the gods of destruction and whatnot. Uh, who knows? Honestly, um, remember a lot of this at this point is very vague. The one thing I do want to talk about, and I think a really great talking point here. Uh, this is the new mechanic. Basically replaces those last two item slots that were never used. Uh, it's weird, but it basically plays a special animation when you first go into battle, when it's first activated, and all of these kind of... It works like an item, but does some slightly different things. Uh, we'll cover all that in its own video. There's still a lot of uh, an, uh, ambiguity into how this is actually going to work, but... One thing I do want to talk about, and I, I do think it is worth mentioning, with Goku and Vegeta themselves, they're going to introduce a new mechanic uh, called the Revival Mechanic. Now, the Revival Mechanic basically is a transformation, but you have to run out of health. And there's a good and a bad side to this. The good side is it basically gives you a single death saving throw. Like, you can survive one deadly hit, which for like extreme SBR and stuff like that is going to be phenomenal especially for extreme sbr because those units hit like freaking trucks even when you drop items they can come out of nowhere with crazy wild hits and then just suddenly like you're dead like a lot of the people that have done uh no items runs on that a lot of it comes down to rng like the any any moment any moment they can get murdered so there is that side of it 
Now, the downside is like a lot of transformations and stuff, you're going to be waiting late game. We've got really awesome defenses and all that on units in this game nowadays. And a lot of times, base hits don't take, but, you know, double, triple digit damage. And even some SAs only do that. So if you really want to see the full amount out of these units, like with a lot of the transformations that take like six turns to get out, you're like, I'm already done with the fight. Or I've never met the parameters. I never lose 50% of my health. You know, I'm not 50% of the health on turn four with him in the slot two or whatever, like crazy. You know, obviously, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but whatever crazy uh, conditions there are to that. So the uh, revival mechanic is interesting because while it is a transformation, it can also be used to like swap out cards. Like um, one of the examples was given is like UI Goku. Uh, what if he takes like... I don't know, Deadly Blow from Jiren. They play a little animation, and he comes back as UI. He's like Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and then comes back as UI. Um, there's that thought. It could even swap out to a whole different character. You know, let's say... And it's a bad example, but the only one I can really come up with off the top of my head is Goku fighting Cell. Now, Goku didn't die. Goku uh, just kind of was like, have a sensor bean, peace out, go get your ass beat, boy. So, that's... <laughs> Pretty much how it went down. But let's say for the sake of argument, like, they play the animation, Goku's health runs out, he powers down, and throws Gohan in, and then suddenly the card swaps out to Gohan. Uh, you know, there's there's no telling. There's a number of things they can do there. The, th the thing is, there's not very many situations aside from Super Battle Road and Legendary Goku and things like that that you're going to be able to utilize that. And even then, there's only so much control you can have. So people that are going to want to get the awakened versions, the new versions, all that stuff of these cards are going to have really wild parameters. And you're almost going to have to nerf your team and have a lot of faith that, like an ESBR, okay, they're going to super once, they're going to kill me, I'll come back as this, hopefully they won't super me again. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, especially in Extreme SBR, because a lot of times those guys can hit you with, like, wild blows. And if it's if it's not mitigated, they hit you with two or three of those, doesn't matter if you have the revival mechanic, you're dead anyway. Or if you mitigate some of that damage, maybe you won't get the transformation. Maybe your unit's just sitting there and you're like, why did I bother? Like, I lined all this up and it just didn't happen. So I really, I think it's a good idea I'm really not sure that the overall, um, uh, uh, I guess, activation is really thought through very well. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, a lot of the transformations and stuff on a lot of cards, like look at uh, the uh, AGL LR Gohan. Great unit. I use him all the time. I just never transform him because it's so it's such a rare situation that he actually does transform. The uh, hell. If we want to talk about dying, let's look at the uh, third anniversary LRs. They're great units, don't get me wrong. But when do they ever transform anymore? You've basically got, you got to set them up for failure. And I don't know about you guys, typically I use them on like LGE or something like that as like a free Senzu. I don't really rely on them as in their transformed state. Sure, it would be fun, but it doesn't happen very often. So as awesome as these cards are, I guess we're going to have to see how the revival mechanic works out because I don't know. I'm not completely sold on it. But that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Are you hyped for the anniversary? I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. I'm going to be summoning on these cards either way. Like they look hype and they're going to be awesome. I cannot wait to get their stats. As soon as we have that, I will Okay, I'm, I probably won't be able to drop videos as soon as it happens, but I will do Aftermath because I am going in for surgery tomorrow, and I am not going to feel like doing much uh, after that for a couple of days. But as soon as we get that information and as soon as I feel up to it, I will definitely be back in uh, and drop that information and get really hyped. But for now, guys, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Like, comment, share. I'll be back at you guys with more Dokkan Battle here really soon.